have you ever felt a little bit strange when there are so many events, organizations around the world calling the youth to stand up, to fight for the environment, but yet so few Vietnamese students to uphold? Many would say it's about our political system that we cannot protest for anything. In the last time, in the last competition, someone asked me, why are there not any Vietnamese students to follow many organizations, foundations like Friday for Future, from a 16 years old girl, Swedish girl, to fight for the environment? I think the problem is, it is in here, our mind. It is not orientated when, it, when it are in school to fight the corrupted. What are, are, what are the causes for pollution? In the last competition, I have talked so much about pollution and environment, but the true causes of pollution, I think it's education. Things would have been differently. If we were taught what to do in our school, if we were taught what should our behaviors should be towards the environment. The word education is about teaching, training, learning in colleges and schools, improving our knowledge, developing our skills, and above all, endows us with the ability to save the environment. But conversely, the education in Vietnam has been a shame. I'm still wondering why physics still teaching us how to create electricity by burning fossil fuel rather than teaching us how to build solar panels or wind turbines to generate clean energy. I'm still wondering why chemistry teaches how to create substances that is detrimental to the environment. I'm still wondering why biology teaches how can trees create oxygen for us to breathe the air. But forget the teachers the one most important thing, how to plant trees to keep the oxygen sources working forever. To save this environment, we need to rebuild this life. And clearly, the education is not preparing us for that. They are not teaching us the skill we need to be a global citizen. They are not teaching us how to express our own idea or how to have a critical mindset. I think to innovate this world, we will need many innovations in fields like energy or material science in school. They do not prepare us for that. So, what should we do? We must, we must put a stop to this education madness. I think together we can change it. Together we can demand the government how education should be. Education that focuses on practice rather than lay theoretical knowledge. The education that focuses on teaching us the skill we need to be a global citizen who save the environment. The education that put emphasis on world-leading technology to innovate this world. Yes, I do hope for a future, thanks to education, we will find another source of energy so that we don't need to burn any fossil fuel to create our own energy. I hope for a future where we create a technological device to clean this planet. I hope for the future, thanks to education, we will restore all the trees cut down for the past hundred years. But we can't do it with the contemporary educational system. What are you fighting for? Criticism, classism, human rights, or any type of equality. It won't matter the least if the educational system collapses. So, what should we do? I think that we should turn this educational thing together. Robert Kennedy once said, only a few we have the greatness to bend history. But together, we can work together to change a small portion of events to the total of all those that will be written the history of a generation. So the final question is, are we, the youth, willing to bend the will of history? Thank you for your listening and for your